in the former capital, an official said on Thursday. It was not yet known what exactly caused explosions. Witnesses said that young women were among the wounded near the Kandawi Lake. Thousands of revelers gathered each year in Yangon to usher the, in the new year by drenching each other with water. In sports now. Bangalore batsman Kevin Peterson praised his team's bowler for their five-wicket victory over Jaipur in Wednesday's IPL match. The Bangalore bowlers made quick inroads with the new bay with the new ball and restricted Jaipur to a meager 130 for six after Shane Warne had opted to bat first. Peterson then smashed 62 of only 29 deliveries as Bangalore overhauled the target with 26 deliveries to spare, a victory which lifted Bangalore's net run rate to second spot in the table. It was an important match, one of those do-or-die situations or a quarter-final situation, Peterson said. Weather update. Temporary showers accompanied by temporary gusty wind occurred at one or two places over Rajshahi, Dhaka and Silet divisions and in the region of Joshua, Kushtia and Kumilla. Weather remained mainly dry with partly cloudy sky elsewhere over the country. Mild heat wave was sweeping over the regions of Rajshahi, Pabna, Joshua, Kushtia and Shatkira. Day temperature may fall slightly over the country. The highest temperature was recorded 37.5 degrees Celsius in Rajshahi and the lowest 21.5 degrees Celsius in Bogra. According to Met Office, the country's maximum temperature in six divisional cities was 37.5 degrees Celsius in Rajshahi, 35.5 degrees Celsius in Khulna, 31.3 degrees Celsius in Silhet, 35.2 degrees Celsius in Dhaka, 34.5 degrees Celsius in Borishal, and 32.6 degrees Celsius in Chittagong. This is all we had in our today's bulletin, but before you wrap up, let's take another look at our main stories. BNP chairperson Begum Khaledizia expressed her great mourn over Wednesday's China earthquake. Border Guard sees new DG as Major General Rafiqul Islam has been appointed for the post. Stop bearing Jamaat program, says Mujahid to government, urges the government to solve the country's ongoing problems. And battle begins to rescue China quake victims as death toll rises over 600. You can also log on to our website, newsandimages.net, to get more on these and all other stories. Thanks for watching News and Images from me, Nushrat Ahmed. Goodbye.